I recently got myself a subscription for audiobooks on Amazon and oh my god, I can't believe it took me this long to get into the world of audiobooks. I was really blown away by the experience. Just listening to books really quickly and getting through a whole book in just a few hours, that was really, really awesome, being able to multitask. There are so many benefits, but after listening to a few books, I quickly realized I was getting very, very frustrated with a few very specific things. In today's video, we're looking at the pros and cons of audiobooks as well as reading books, kind of putting the two head to head to see which one is better for what. I have a few opinions about this. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Let's get started. Hi there, Raigir Jika Khansa, Raigir Jiki Fateh. My name is Manith Pal Singh. On this channel, we discuss the tools and techniques to read books more effectively so we can live a more intentional life. If that sounds like something you're interested in, consider pressing the subscribe button down below. Now before making this video, I was very curious what people are doing on their own right now and I found out only about 10% of people listen to audiobooks exclusively and the rest of the people who are subscribed to this channel listen to audiobooks as well as read books or they only read books and they don't listen to audiobooks at all. But let me talk about some of the advantages of reading books before we talk about audiobooks. Firstly, it's a much more mindful activity when you're actually sitting down and reading a book physically. And I have to say, this is one of the biggest reasons why I enjoy reading so much. I'm all about living an intentional life, a mindful life, and having that time set aside where just you and your Kindle reading, it's such a nice feeling. It really takes you away from all your work. That is an advantage you get with physical books and Kindles. You do not get that as much with audiobooks. Secondly, you have much more control over the pace in which you read. With an audiobook, you're kind of stuck at the playback of the narrator. When you're reading a book, you can slow down, you can speed up, you can skim, you can really stop and reread sections without any problem. That pacing is all within your control. This is really, really important for books that are nonfiction, especially when you want to go back and reread a piece of information that you learned and make sure you understand it properly. For me personally, I really enjoy personal development books as well as business books. Those books require sometimes going back a couple times and just making sure you understood the concept properly. This actually brings me to my third point though of why reading books is better is because you actually have the ability to take notes while you read. When you're reading a book or on your Kindle or physical books, you can have a notebook or a highlighter or your finger for a Kindle and it's just so much easier to highlight that text that is actually meaningful to you and you can take notes as you read. And like I mentioned before, if you're reading a nonfiction book, you don't want to have to keep going back and rereading the entire book to find that one piece of information that you learned from it, when you highlight or bookmark or whatever you want to do with your book, it's so much easier to go back to that one quote that you really loved and find that information with reading books. With audiobooks, it's much harder to do that. And those are all the advantages of reading books in my personal opinion. There are some disadvantages of reading books as well. The first being, it takes a lot of time. With reading books on your Kindle or on your physical paperback, you really gotta find some time in the day to just sit down and read the book. Sometimes it could take 10 minutes, sometimes it could be a half hour to an hour. If you really wanna read a book though, you gotta set a time every single day to read and that can really take a good part of your day out of your day. And alongside the time commitment, you really can't be multitasking when you're reading a book on your Kindle, your paperback. You really have to read and sit there and just take that time dedicated for that one purpose, nothing else. And the second disadvantage of reading books physically is that I think it takes a lot longer to finish a book when you're reading it compared to an audiobook. When I read a book on my Kindle, it could sometimes take me a few days or it could sometimes take me a few weeks depending how long the book is and how much time I have available. And that is really, really bad sometimes if you have a list of 100 books that you want to read. It just takes a very long time to get through an entire book. All right, let's move on to audiobooks now. There are quite a few advantages as well as disadvantages for audiobooks. And again, as I mentioned before, I've only listened to a few audiobooks, so take this all with a grain of salt. My opinions may change over time. But the first thing that I think is an advantage of audiobooks is being able to multitask while you read. Having an audiobook playing in the background is such an advantage. You can listen to it while driving, while getting ready, while working out, while going for a walk, while making something in the kitchen. You can be doing anything literally and listen to an audiobook in the background and you can still get a lot of the good information out of it and not be too distracted. If you're a very busy person, don't have the time to sit down and read a book for an hour, this is a really like almost a must have for an audiobook. 
just being able to multitask, it is such an advantage. The second advantage of audiobooks is being able to speed listen through an audiobook. And now, as I mentioned before, with physical books, you do have the advantage of pacing yourself to your own pace, but sometimes that can slow you down. With an audiobook, you're listening to a consistent pace. And I personally have found listening to it at 1.5 or almost 2x speed really helps me get through a book very, very quickly. And I don't have to slow down and like go back and reread something. I kind of trust myself a little bit more and read the entire book cover to cover. With physical books, I often find myself skimming through sections I find boring, which is perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with that. I actually think that's a good thing. But with audiobooks, I just put it on 2x speed and I speed through the whole book cover to cover, I don't skip any section. Let me give you a personal example. I'm actually based out of Connecticut and that's about an hour and a half away from New York. And I drive to New York a few times a month and every time I drive, I get an hour and a half each way. And that hour and a half each way adds up to three hours. Three hours is almost enough to complete an entire audiobook at 2x speed. Sometimes not the entire thing, almost half a book depending how long it is. But either way, being able to read half a book or just one entire book just while you're driving in one day, that is an amazing feeling. I can get through so many more books this way. Then I also have other moments during the day where I'm listening to it while getting ready in the morning, going for a walk. Those all add up. 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there. I get all this extra reading time into my day just because it's an audiobook. Now putting the speed and all that aside, there's one more reason why I feel audiobooks are better. And this is because I think it's much more personal. You have a better connection with the author because oftentimes the audiobook is narrated by the author themselves. When I read a physical book on my Kindle or paperback, it gets really, really weird sometimes because I don't really know who the author is. I'm kind of building a picture in my head and I find myself oftentimes after reading the book kind of googling them and seeing who they are actually in real life. With an audiobook you get their voice right there as you're reading. You get much more of a connection with the person who actually wrote the book that you're reading. And what I found a couple times already is the author will sometimes inject random things into the audiobook that aren't in the physical book which is really really awesome. You get a bit more personality too. Now clearly there's a bunch of advantages to audiobooks but there are also quite a few disadvantages. And the first one that I think is really important to talk about is that listening to audiobooks is by far not a mindful activity at all. As much as I love listening to audiobooks while multitasking, the whole purpose of reading books, the reason why I started it was because it was a great way to unwind at the end of the day. And with an audiobook, I kind of find myself going after that more efficient route of being productive to read rather than reading for fun. Think about it, when you're going for a walk or you're driving, these times could be really sacred hours that you have in your day where you get to unplug from technology and just listen to the sounds of nature or whatever it might be. When you have an audiobook playing in your ear, you're losing all of that benefit. The second disadvantage to audiobooks that I think is the personal deal breaker for me for a lot of books is that taking notes on an audiobook is very, very, very difficult to do. I guess this all depends on the type of book that you listen to. For me, nonfiction books are the main books I read. And when I read a nonfiction book, I love taking notes and just jotting down things that I find useful as I read. With an audiobook, when I'm driving or going for a walk with the dog or whatever it might be, it's really hard to stop, pull out your phone, open the notes app and take a note. Most apps, for like Audible, for example, they have a clipping feature, but this feature doesn't really do much. You have to go back manually and go through all your clips and take notes afterwards. That adds so much more work, I don't ever do that. I can't highlight anything. I can't really bookmark anything. It's really, really tough for an audiobook to actually sit down and take notes properly unless you commit yourself to going back after you finish reading, going through all your clips and making notes properly afterwards. But I want to bet that most people don't do this on a Kindle, the main reason why I love my Kindle so much is it's all automated. I highlight something in the Kindle book, then automatically it shows up in my Notion. It gets emailed to me ran randomly every day. Those are features that I really, really love. It makes the comprehension so much better. And that brings me to my final point. Listening to audiobooks, the comprehension is not nearly as good as reading the book physically. With an audiobook, sometimes it goes in one ear, out the other ear. You aren't really paying attention sometimes, which is fine. Multitasking, that's the whole benefit of it. But with reading a book, you're really soaking in the knowledge and you're really soaking in the story, whatever it might be. You're kind of sitting there and going at your own pace. 
all that adds up to better comprehension. With listening to audiobooks, you don't have that benefit. You really have to focus, put more effort into paying attention than with reading books. Now here's my take on all of this. I think there are benefits of audiobooks. I think there are benefits of reading books. I think the ideal situation is somewhere in the middle, utilizing both audiobooks and both physical books to read books. When I first got my audiobook subscription, I tried listening to nonfiction, self-help, business books, and I got through them really quickly and I was really happy with that but not being able to take notes drove me insane. I actually ended up buying the Kindle version of one of the books I read on the audiobook so I can go back and highlight it and take my notes properly. And I learned from that experience, I don't want to listen to an audiobook that I know I want to take notes on. Now I still have my Audible subscription, I still have audiobooks in my library, but what I do now is I focus these books on story-based books. What I mean by that are books like biographies or maybe fiction books, things where I don't really feel compelled to take notes. And that's the biggest thing. If you wanna take notes, I really think reading a book on your Kindle is the best way to go. You can't really take notes on audiobooks. I'm really curious what your thoughts are. If you have an opinion about this, please leave a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. I wanna know if I missed something. I'll leave a link also in the description for an Audible account if you don't already have one. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I do have an affiliate link that would support this channel if you decide to do that. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also enjoy my comparison between physical books and Kindles. I have a whole video dedicated to explaining why Kindles are better than reading paperback books. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.